Hey, everybody. Hi, howdy. <laughs> I see uh, Dana already lost the first game. <laughs> That's wonderful. That is just wonderful. All right. I'm trying to get situated here. Move this. I hope my light doesn't fall over. There we go. Hey, Melanie. How are you? Hi, Nancy. Hey, Peppermint. Jennifer, hello. Hi, Lori. Let's see here. Trying to get this thing all set up exactly right. I still don't have a table that reaches everything. Hi, Bonnie. Nope. That's not going to work. Hold on. Got to move this over a little bit more. There we go. I'm trying to get the tablet just on the edge of the computer, you know, so I can actually see what's going on. Hey, Natural Creations. Thanks for popping in. Hi, Carol. Okay. All right. Did we do it? Did we do it? I think so. Hey, Dan. Do it. Do it. I think so. What is this over here playing? Hey, Dan. No, nope, don't want that. Okay. And I need my other phone so we can check last minute bingo stuff. I checked everything like five minutes ago, and okay, tablet's off. Hi, Vicky. Hey, Sharon. Mary. Hi. Oh, you know what I need? My winning pom poms. Woo! I'm gonna shake those numbers up before we even get started tonight. Make sure they're shook up that good. Woohoo! All right. We're ready to go. Now let's check the bingo board one last time. One last time. Contents, no, comments. That's what I want. Okay, you're taken care of unpublished held for review that's the problem nope nothing under held for review <laughs> nothing under published that i haven't responded to so as of right this second we are 100 percent caught up with all bingo all new incoming bingo numbers etc but like I said before, I have had this thing give me help for review stuff that got posted three days ago. So, but that's the best we can do here. That is the best we can do is to be checking that out. Let's just check one, one more time under the, <clears throat> under the bingo sign up list playlist. I've got that under the playlist now. So if you just go to bingo, the playlist bingo, and it's the one all the way down on the bottom. I don't know why. I, there's probably a way for me to put that at the top, but you know, you know. Okay. Newest comments. No. So everything that's been, everything that's in here, I've got on the list. We've checked the held comments and there's nothing there. Hey, Digo. Dago, did we get your numbers on the list? I thought we did last week, too. Deanne, Heidi, let me go over here so I can see this thing. Oh, hi, Sharon. Vicki. Yes. All right, Dago, we've got your numbers, so you're good to go. Look what I did. I was out running errands today. Got me some pumpkin latte. But it's going to be gone pretty quick. And then I'll have to have Diet Pepsi. But Mr. is already on the ball with that. He knows I'm going to be needing one in a while. Hey, Lisa. Mm, mm, mm. My favorite. My favorite. 
All righty. All righty. So let's go over the rules one time real quick. And there's Miss Dana. Nancy says you've already lost Dana. Yeah. Mr. wants to know if you're the one lighting fires all up and down the freeway. We had to leave the road. So we went down to Boise, Idaho on Thursday. And guess what we did? It was so cool. So we were going south and Miss Dana was going north. And we didn't even realize we were on the same freeway. So we got it all figured out and all configured and all timed. And we passed each other and we got to wave and honk and see each other on the freeway. It was so cool. It was so fun. It was so fun. Oh, hi, Mr. Max. Is all this stuff in your way? You know, got to make room for the dog. So that was way cool. So we got to see Miss Dana. There you go. There's room for you now. There's room for you now. Sorry, phone's ringing. I can't. I don't know how to stop my phone. So we'll just have to let it ring. Um. So that was that was fun. And then we had been, it was really smoky. And we were talking about the, you know, the different fires hither and yon. And we were driving down the road and we had to leave the freeway. They had, the police had it all blocked off. We had to take the exit, leave the freeway and go off onto an old highway uh, road to get down to where we were going. And it was, I think, we saw in the news that it was like four or five hours later before they opened that road up. So yeah, it was, um, it was pretty bad. Okay. Brenda, I got your new numbers. <laughs> That's okay. We got your new numbers. So you're good to go. So how is this going to work? In theory, everybody in here has checked down below in the description and made sure that you have your numbers in. If your name is not down there, I do not have your numbers at all. I just saw, I just saw Dana. Yes, Dana pulled the horn. Yes, we got to honk and wave and she was hanging out this side. It was so much fun. So um, make sure you've got your numbers in. And of course you won't hear this, but if you come in late and we're already in the middle of the game, if I've got your numbers, you're playing because you can see the board. Okay, so that's not a problem. And the way we're going to play is three games. First game, you match five of your numbers. Second game, you match five of your numbers. Third game, you match all nine of your numbers. Third game is blackout. Yarn barf, I do not have numbers for you. Correct? I'm pretty sure I did not see yarn barf on the list. If you're going to play, we need some numbers. Hey, Tammy. Hi. Hi, Verna. Uh, so um, we will be calling numbers. Let me pull the screen up. Oh, Max doesn't want me to stop petting. Let me pull the screen up here. Share screen. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I do not have numbers for Yarn Barf. If you're going to play today, you need to give me, give me some numbers. Okay. Hey, Tammy. Hi, Deb. Okay. This is what the screen will look like. And you'll be able to see the numbers there as they're called. So that's how you'll be able to check. Hi, Angela. Um, the first one to bingo is the winner. And it's the way it looks on my screen. I know sometimes it looks different on your guys' screens. The first one to bingo is the winner. Okay. And you have to tell me bingo, bingo on the comments. I do have the comments set tonight so that you have to be a subscriber for at least 10 minutes. That was weird. Um, and that's just to try to avoid the um, trolls. It worked really good the other day. We didn't have any trolls on the last one. No, new, no new numbers, Arlene. No new numbers. We're going to finish out September with the same numbers. And then we will start over again on the next round. Okay. Um, hi, Louise. I did not. Yes. Nine numbers between one and 75. Um, 
we had we made a decision last week last week that we are going to do we're not going to worry about october because i'm going to be traveling the majority of october the only bingo night we're going to have i think the only i shouldn't say that without looking at a calendar do, 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 do. let me look let me look let me look at october september october yes i'm traveling I leave town on the 2nd, and so we're skipping the, yeah, so our, in October, our only bingo night is going to be on Halloween night, so you will have all of October to pick your new numbers, and then on Halloween, we'll start with new numbers, okay? Does that make sense for everybody? And of course, I'll put up a video explaining all that. And as we cl get closer to the end of September, I'll let everybody know that we can pick new numbers starting in September, at the end of September. So that'll give you all... <laughs> oh no, yarn barf. Um, I don't think... Man, I have thrown away all our old notes. We've only got about two weeks worth of notes. She'll look real quick in, in her list and see if she's got an old list with her numbers in it. But I don't think we do. There we go. Um, nope. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, Yarn Buff. We do not have any numbers. So just quick grab nine numbers and throw them up on the screen here. We'll get them written down for you. Miss Morgan will write them down. Just so you know... We have Miss Morgan for next week, but the week after we do not. So that means we won't be able to take numbers the night of because that's too complicated for me. Because y'all know how that is. Let me get back to me here. Boom. <laughs> oh, Dana says she won already. No, she has not. Dana, are you driving? Do we need to watch your numbers for you? I haven't heard from you yesterday or today. Um, if we don't hear from Dana, let's assume we need to watch her numbers until we hear otherwise. Okay. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, there's Jarn Barf's numbers. Hey, Kim G. Kim, did you check to make sure your name is on the list? Make sure I've got your numbers. Okay. Dana, we'll keep an eye on your numbers until I hear otherwise if you're driving or not. Because we want her to be safe, don't we? Yes. Okay. Kim G says she's here to play. And she double checked. Uh-oh. I will. Okay. Dana says she's got her number. She's watching. So she had problems today. I'll have to go. I've been, I've been bouncing around checking out videos all day long. Okay, Kim's on the list. So everybody has checked their name. There's nobody in here whose name is not on the list. If that's the case, oh, no, it should not be, Brenda. That's weird. It shows on mine. Yeah, it shows on mine. Dana's watching her numbers. Um. Morgan, will you see if the uh, money thing is turned on? Somebody just tried to send a super chat and it wasn't turned on. I don't see the super chat. That's weird because it's on on mine. Yeah, usually it's on on both sides. Oh, no. <laughs> um, that is so strange. Oh, it's not on here either. Well, I'll figure that out. Somebody asked about a super chat, which I super appreciate. And after we play the first game, um, I'll go in and check my settings in here. I'm pretty sure I've got it set right, but apparently not. But it's weird because on my tablet it shows up, but on the iPhone it is not showing up. So hmm. Laura says it's on hers. That's so strange, but it's not showing up on. Let me see if it's on here. Bingo, 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 bingo. Nope, it's not showing up on. Yeah, it is. See, it's showing up at the very bottom on my. Nope, it's 
Oh, there it is. Oh, let's see it now. Maybe it was just delayed because it's showing up on the bottom of my mine now. Let me see. All chance visible. Turn this volume down. Okay. All right. Are we ready? We ready to start? Let me shake up the numbers. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Everybody got their numbers ready to go. All right, let's take this banner off because y'all have checked your numbers now. Get some of that junk off the screen. Whew, that's much better. And we're going to go over here, hide me. All right. So you can you guys see the bingo screen real clearly? Okay, here we go. Start new game, and the first number is 22, 2, 2, 22. Hi, Wrapped in Yarn. Twenty-two. Hi, Ellen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, thank you. Woohoo! Just so you know, any of these um, donations goes to pay for shipping and prizes. So, and oh yeah, Deb, glass of wine, slice of pizza and bingo. Life is good. You need a little chocolate cake with that. I think that's the only thing that's missing. A little chocolate. Thank you so very much. Um, and when I get back in October, I'm going to have something extra special there also. I'm going to try some, try to find some cool stuff on my trip for, for gifts too. 22. 66. 66. 66. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, how's your week been? I didn't. Oh, thank you, Deb. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at the hippopotamuses. They're so cute. Oh, carrot cake. Yes. Hippopotamuses. I love hippopotamuses. They're darling. 66. 31, 3, 1. Okay, so Darcia is saying, I have made, I have scrunchies made for donations to somebody, but I don't remember who. I don't remember any conversation about scrunchies. Do you, Morgan? Morgan does not. And her brain is way younger than mine. She's much better at remembering these things. I do not know. And Dana says we're calling the wrong numbers. We are not starting over, Dana. I told you, let Jack-Jack pick the numbers. You'll do much better. 44, 4, 4. <gasps> Strawberry swirl cheesecake and brownie bites. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys know, I don't know if it's still there. Dairy Queen had a brownie cheesecake, caramel, caramel cheesecake blizzard a couple of weeks ago. I had one. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. But I'm one of those weird people that I'm not in love with cheesecake. And it was a little too cheesecakey for me. But if you like cheesecake, you'd probably like it. Marilyn, yes, we got your numbers. I believe, did you look in the, did you look in the drop down box, see if your name is in there? I think it is. I think it is Marilyn L J K L Marilyn Downing. Yes, you're on my list. You are on my list. This is one list you want to be on. Christine donates some to domestic violence. Boy, I can guarantee neither one of those ladies are in here playing bingo. <laughs> I'd love if Kristen would pop in and play bingo. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Sixty-seven, six, seven, sixty-seven. 
Mr. was eating some ice cream a little while ago and offered me some, but I'm still drinking my, I'm still drinking my, um, Melanie Jones, you're not on our list. Let's double check the list, Melanie. Six, seven. Okay, Melanie, go ahead and give us your numbers. You cannot play the first game unless you don't choose any of these um, five numbers. So, yeah, you can absolutely give us your numbers right now. So, if you have, if you want any of these numbers, you'll have to wait till the next game. But if you pick your numbers without these, then you can start playing this game if you get your numbers up here right quick. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you made 50 scrunchies this week? Morgan made scrunchies. I made one. Morgan made scrunchie. Yes. Singular. Wow, you've been a busy little girl. What are you using? What um what are you making them with? Are you are you using number four weight or are you using that velvety kind of stuff? Okay, Melanie has picked her numbers, and none of them are on this list, so we she can play this game. Okay, so you're good to play, Melanie. We're getting your numbers written down. Daigo is having Neapolitan. Oh, from leftover from birthday. Nice. Number 45. Four, five. Number 45. Well, a couple weeks ago, Mr. and I went shopping and hit an ice cream sale and bought, I think, four cartons of ice cream, maybe six. And then Morgan hit the same sale. We didn't know she was out jobbing. So we've got ice cream. <laughs> I will want some later. That does sound good. Four, five. Ten different styles, lots of yarn, some chenille. Every okay, very good. Very good. 41, 4, 1, 41. So, yeah, we had a really nice weekend. We went visiting uh, Mr. Sister, who lives in Boise, and spent a couple of days down there. It was hot, but no hotter than it is here. And she's got a lovely patio. So we spent a lot of time out on the patio. We barbecued, visited with family. Went yarn shopping. Um, there's a real nice little yarn store down there we went to. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, ice cream party at my house. You got it. Beautiful yarn store. What? Oh, I thought you meant you had one to go, Deanne. <laughs> and I'm like, dang, you're doing good. Hey, Lulu. Hi, Flip Flop. We just, just getting going on game one, so check your numbers. I know. Makes us all want ice cream now. Number 50, five zero. Number 50. I was trying to see if I could reach the yarn that I bought. I did real good. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can reach the yarn that I bought. Well, I'll wait till break. I'll wait till break and then I'll go grab it. I got my pillow set just right now. Um, but I, I'm going to start a turtle mosaic and I'm going to make a pillow. So it'll be smaller or probably, you know, this big. Yo. And so I bought the yarn that I want to do for oh. that. I think it's going to be real pretty. Oh, Diane's got hot fudge sundaes. That sounds good too. I don't know if we have, do we have any chocolate sauce? I don't think we do. Oh, we do. Miss Morgan says we have chocolate sauce. I see a hot fudge sundae or at least a chocolate sauce ice cream in my future. Oh, and we have peanuts too. So then that makes it a peanut buster parfait if I'm not mistaken. Number six. Number six. <laughs> Hi, Sally. Hey, did you guys know that Miss Sally is going to be a, um, what's the word, Morgan? What's my word? 
sponsor. Miss Sally is going to be a sponsor. She's going to sponsor bingo. And we've decided on, let me get the date here real quick. I was just looking at that. She is going to be, I have a calendar sitting right here. September, September 26th. Miss Sally is going to sponsor our bingo for us. That's so sweet of her. I'm super excited. Okay. Everybody wants ice cream. Dina says, so she's got one number. Yay. Oh, you managed a Dairy Queen. That would be dangerous. That would be so cool, but dangerous. Peanut Buster Parfait. Yeah, that's that's my favorite. And the Peanut Buster Bar, where it was on a stick. <gasps> I love those. Love, love, love those. Joe. Number eight. Number eight. Joe. He'll be 25. Very nice. Assistant yeah. manager. We got all kinds of DQ people in here. Did they have as much stuff back then as they do now? All the different kinds of things. Did they have hamburgers and stuff back then? I only remember ice cream from long ago. Number eight. Buster bars and dilly bars. Mm -hmm. All right. Based on Dana's rules, Melanie won because she got one number. Yeah, natural. I love, I love DQ. And they have Pepsi. Oh, they did have hamburgers in. Okay. 74, 74. I don't remember. We probably just never got hamburgers. We just went for the ice cream when we were kids. I remember walking up there and get, and they just had just their plain ice cream cone was so good. Found a picture in your memories in Facebook where you were shut down at a truck stop in Tennessee and had a banana split for dinner. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh yeah. My Pepsi. It's so hard to find Pepsi. And in the South, it's even harder they just, they've got Diet Coke or regular Coke and that's it. Yeah, the vanilla cone, Bonnie, they're just good. No, I mean, oh, okay, Darcy. Darcy says that they don't, they don't make them, they make them at corporate now. And back in the day, they made the dilly bars and stuff right there in the store. So they were better then, as always. Baskin Robbins, yeah, gotta love the Baskin Robbins. Office manager. Oh, Jennifer. Okay, let me. Jennifer said she was an office manager of Dairy 28 Dairy Queens in Texas, and then the boss sold them off and she got laid off. That sucks. Oh, your son wants in the back door. Okay. So, again, Joe is outside waiting for someone to let him in, and Max goes to open the door for him. <laughs> it's good to be a grown-up yep yes yes you're right dina we used to get the dilly bars and then when we got older then we got to have the buster parfait yep that's exactly right number 14 number 14 coming up so your first job was at Baskin Robbins. You traded ice cream for pizza. That's a great trade. That is a great trade. Melanie liked the chocolate dip cones. You know, they sound good in theory, but I just, I never think about getting them. And they would be, it'd be just like the dilly bars that way, right? But yes, the little curl on top of the cone. It wasn't done unless you had the curl. Daigo. Yeah, D boy, Dairy Queen is a big deal in Texas. Oh, the blizzards. Yes, yes. We like the Oreo blizzards around here. 
What was that one that you had with the gummy worms? Uh, dirt cup. Dirt cup. Cup of dirt. Cup of dirt. There's a new one called cup of dirt. That's the one that Morgan likes. Nice. What's that other ice cream chain down there? I can see it. They they have ice cream. They have some hamburgers and things like that. And they also, Brahms? Brahms. I think that's it. In Texas, there's a lot of Brahms ice creams. Really, really good. Really good ice cream. Carvel's. That's another really good one. We don't have those here either. We don't have Brahms or Carvel's. Yeah. Oh, you've got Brahms in Oklahoma too. That makes sense being that close. Uh, we had Carvel's in, where did we have it? And we used to go over there. Oh, um, when we worked at the lake, when we worked in, um, what's the name of that lake? Flower Mound. Flower Mound. We were in Flower Mound, Texas, and there was a Carvel's around the corner. And the hamburgers, they put that butter on it. Oh, man, those were good. Mega Moo Latte. Lisa, Lisa, the grandma scattered, said, when I see a Dairy Queen, I want to get a Mega Moo Latte. I have never had that. I'm not sure I've never heard of it. Yeah, Morgan's never heard of it either. Mega Moo Latte. We need to put that on our list. Is that what it is? Is it ice cream and coffee? Okay, Lisa, we know we need more info. We don't know what that is. And we we've got we just happen to have a Dairy Queen coupon. Uh, Dairy Queen is like a minute. A minute from here, yeah. yeah. Number twenty nine two two nine. They just opened a Dairy Queen about a mile down the road from us. We've been a time or two. Oreo milkshake. Oh, yum. Oh. Ritter's. That's been a long time. Carvel's is so good. It is very good. And when you buy a, like a meal, you get a little sundae with it. It's the ice cream of the day. I guess it's not a sundae. It's just a cup of ice cream. But it's, they have a different flavor every day. Yum. Oh, it's a coffee ice cream shake. Morgan, we're going to be needing one of those. All right. Diane got a number. Woo. -hoo! Woo. Oh, got to take the dog out. Yeah. They're ice cream cakes. Super good. Super, super good. 27 to seven. I'm not a fan of coffee ice cream, but then I don't like the flavor of coffee. So. Five, six, 56. Correct. No, we are doing five numbers right now, Lulu. Five numbers. The first two games are five numbers, right? That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Five numbers. Five numbers yeah. The first two games. And the last game is blackout. All nine numbers. Live half a mile and never go there. Good for you. Janice has a bingo for reals. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Okay, let's let's do her numbers. Let's call it out. Eight. Eight. Seven. No. Sixteen. No. Twenty-two. Yes. Thirty-one. No. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-one. Oh, thirty-one. Yes. Forty-four. Forty-four. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Oh, that's five. <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting for, yay! All right, we got a good bingo. Hooray for Janice. Yay, Janice. Congratulations. And Dina still has one number. 
Congratulations. That is wonderful. And it only took 15 numbers. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All right. And what have you won? I actually remembered to pull prizes tonight. So we're going to start with a set of pom-pom makers from Lion Brand. I don't know how these work, but I bought us some pom-pom makers. So you'll get that in the mail. In theory, they'll be mailed out this week because right along with last week's winners. Um, oh, you had the first three and the last number. I know it's been really weird. <laughs> it's been really weird the, the way the numbers have been coming. And Lisa still only has one. Let's see here. All right, we got to go up here. Clear this off. Reset the board. Yes, we want to reset the board. Get ready for the next game. We've got her name written down, right? And first winner? Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> Dana, did you win? Yeah, Dana won. Dana won. Not. All right. Close. What is all this stuff going on here? Okay. Shake, shake, shake. All right, let me shake up the numbers. Shaking up the numbers, shaking up the... <laughs> it's going up and down on the screen. Oops, I killed it. I shook them a little too hard. Let me get back here where I need to be. <laughs> Eek, what is all this? Too much stuff going on. Okay, I shook up the numbers. Shook up the numbers. And reset the board. And so that's ready to go. Hey, Dina. Nope, you're not late at all. We just this second finished the first game. Miss Janice won. Yay. And we're just getting ready to start the second game. You've got your numbers, right? You are ready to play. How's Jack Jack tonight? Okay, so that's the email address you want to use when you send me your address. My hair. Ugh. Uh, make sure you use this email address. If you use the other one, it gets mixed in with all the junk. You know that how that is. And please put in your uh, subject line, bingo winner, game one that will help me or just say bingo winner and then in your in your email tell me you won game one that will help me and if your name is going to be different you know if the email is going to come from sue jones or you know whatever just give me a heads up of who you are yeah jack jack is a cuddler he's so sweet we love jack jack let's give him some cookies everybody give jack jack some cookies he needs cookies. And everybody give Jack Jack some cookies. I don't know if I can do some cookies in here. Yeah? C-O-O-K. Yes, there we go. Cookies for Jack Jack. Cookies for Jack Jack. Okay. Everybody go potty and fill up their drink. And, oh, I think I hear a Diet Pepsi coming my way. And, yeah, cookies for Jack-Jack. Jack-Jack uh, still doesn't have his numbers in here. I need to take care of that little problem. Oh, that's true. Morgan says there's no point since Dana wins every game. 
All right, ready to start game two. This is also a five match game. Match five numbers. Ooh, Lisa sent him ice cream, cookies and ice cream. Nice. Nice. All right. Whoops. Sweet potato and peanut butter cookies. Melanie, is that special dog cookies? Oh, funny. Your dog is named Cookie. Cute. Okay. So Jack Jack's going to pick numbers for the Halloween game. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Whoops. That was strange. I reset it and it pulled up four numbers. See, I thought earlier it was picking more than one when I was telling it to pick one number. Confirm. All right, it is weirding out on me. Let's try this again. Boy, we don't need this board messing up. Manual call mode. Let me click that. Shuffle board. Nope, that's not what we want. Start new game. 65. Okay. Did only pick one number this time? Yeah. That was weird. That was weird. 65. 65. Six, uh, you know, Melanie, it's funny that you mentioned that because a few years ago, Mr. and I made a ton of dog cookies, dog treats. And that was the flavors that we made was peanut butter and sweet potato. And you can't see the board. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Let me get this set right. There. How's that? That's better, huh? That's better. So I was... We were making them and selling them for a fundraiser, and we made so many of them. But we sold it 10. We made $500 for our fundraiser just doing dog cookies. Well, I don't know why you need to see the board. <laughs> 65. Number 70. 70. <laughs> Where do you order them from, uh, Melanie? Someone local? Seven zero. All right, Daigo got a number already. Woohoo! Don't jinx yourself. Get the first number and then no more. Number 70. You still can't see the board, Karen? <laughs> okay, Karen can see now. Good. Okay. Number 74, 74, 74. Okay, Gaines Family Farmstead off of Amazon. I keep telling Mr. we need to make those again and sell them because they sold like hotcakes, like cookies. And we made, we made them little, uh, they were dog bone shaped. And then we made some itty bitty ones for teeny tiny dogs. We cut them to little squares. Mm -hmm. Brenda can't see the board. Can you see the board? I can see the board. Uh, 
Can most people see the board? Other than Brenda, is there anybody other than Brenda who cannot see the board? Okay. Okay. I think, um, I think it, I think it's you. I think it's you. Yep. The consensus is we can finally see the board now that I've got it set correctly. <laughs> And I do appreciate, because, you know, I just get to chat, and, and I do appreciate you guys telling me when I don't have it up. Sixty-three. Six-three. Did it just put, it did, it just popped up two numbers. So it's 47 and 63. I do not know what's going on with this tonight. So we're going to have to be careful. 47 and 63. Three dog bakery. <laughs> Organic home baked treats. Yeah. That's that's what ours were. Ours, ours weren't necessarily organic, but it was food grade. The the ingredients I used came right out of my cupboard. It was peanut butter and sweet potatoes, and we used whole wheat flour, and um I don't remember what all else was in it, but they were. <laughs> do i need to shake up the numbers there you go shook up the numbers i'm afraid to shake them too hard because it's already picking more than one at a time oh good question dana when is hag stitch starting it's got to be coming up pretty quick All right, let's try this again. One number, please. Nope. It pulled up a bunch of them. So 54, 54, and 66. I do not know what's going on. When we're done with this game, I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on again. So September 19th. Hey, Terry. September 19th is when the hag stitch is going to start. Do you have a link for that yet, Dana? So here's here's what we're going to have to do since this thing is spazzing out on me. It seems to be picking two numbers. And the one that's blinking would have been the second number. So as a for instance, it just put 54 and 66 up at the same time. And if you look in the upper right-hand corner, it says 54 was the previous number called, so 66 would be the current number. So when it's jumping two numbers like that, that's the order that they'll be. In case, you know, we get a bingo e mess. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know why things can't just work. Yes, the hag stitch is a stitch that Dana has found and has come up with a crochet along where she's going to be pulling numbers and matching colors and stuff like that. Good Lord, what is she doing over there? Miss Mar you ought to see what Miss Morgan is making, you guys. She is, she is a crochet beast these days. Hey, look, there's the link. Make sure y'all go over and check this out. It's going to start the end of September and you need, let's see if I can remember, seven colors, seven in a base, six in a base. Um, at the break, I'll bring Dana up and she can talk about it a little bit. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Here, we're going to click the number, get off of that thingy, and I'm clicking it. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. 
I don't I don't know what skip unused numbers, but I have to have it on. Well, okay, this is what we're going to do because this computer has completely spazzed out tonight. Um, I'm going to turn the bingo game off for the next game. And we are going to do a draw for the winner, for the second winner. Yeah, I need to restart the game. But I think we were... I don't know how many numbers in we were. So let's just do a draw. Wow. Okay. So how many people? We got 54 people in here. And Morgan is going to write down a number between 1 and 54. Okay. Okay, she has written the number down. All right. What a mess. I am so sorry. You guys know how much I love, 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 love this computer stuff. Okay, so everybody, everybody quit talking. Nobody type anything. Okay, we're going to, everybody's going to type in a word. Hey, Crafty Critter, everybody's going to type in a word, and the word is going to be pink, the color pink, P-I-N-K. Wait till I tell you to start. Okay, everybody type in the word pink, whether you had numbers on your board or not. Everybody gets a chance. Type in the word pink. Hey, Ninja. And then once everybody's had a chance to type in the word pink, then I will pick the number that she chose before we started. And I hope it wasn't way down the list so we don't have to count a whole lot. But that's okay. What a mess. I don't understand why it's doing that. So I'm going to shut this down. And completely shut it down. And I'm going to restart it. I don't think it's my computer. Look. I'm back. <laughs> oh, I cannot win tonight. I cannot win. All right. So I'm going to get a new tab and I'm going to put in the bingo. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't mess me up now. Play bingo. Play. Oh, all those numbers are still there. P-I-N-K. <laughs> yeah, we're going to through a tunnel. What a night. Okay. I'm doing it again. I'm resetting it. Okay, let's get back here to the game. Okay, so everybody had a chance to put in the word pink. We're going to stop it now. Once I put in the word stop, no more pink. Yes, you're right, Dina. It's rebelling for us shaking up the number. 
hours. Okay, so no more pink. All right, Miss Morgan, what is the number? 26. 26. So let's go back to the top. Pink, 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 pink. A lot of pinks in here. Pink. Okay, there we are. Start. And we're counting to 26. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What was the number? 26. 26. Here's our winner. Yay! Yay! You won game two. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, I put this, I did that, Lisa, and I put the speed on slow, and it's still a little quick for us. But, because I used to do that. I used to do that. I'll try that again, though. The way it's going tonight, I think we're going to have to. So what did you win? Oh, this is what you win did. Okay. You won. This is so pretty, you guys. Look at those beautiful colors. Can you see that? It's they're dark blues and light blues and creams and a little bit of brown. It is called it's um sock yarn and it is 75% superwash merino, 25% polonide, so it'll have some good strength to it. Um it is in it's made in Turkey. But the writing is in German, so I can't give you a whole lot of information. They seem to be pretty happy about it. It's got the Oko thing. So, and it says, according to these little doohickeys, I think that is machine wash, cool, lay flat to dry. I think that's what that means. So you're going to get this and you're going to get some press-on fingernails. So I don't know if you can see it. It's the color showing up weird. Can you see it? These are so cute. There you go. And they work really, really well. And it's sort of a it's sort of a pink and black paisley. I thought it was tiger stripe, but they're actually paisley. But you don't need any special stuff to do this. Um, maybe an orange stick, that does help. But you put these right uh, on, just like this, on your fingernail. You put it just like that on your fingernail. And then you just kind of rub it flat. And if you cut them, you can get two out of each one. So you can get two sets, two complete sets of all 10 fingers out of one package of these. I've used these before, and I really like them. So that's what you get. You get some yarn and some cool fingernail stuff. And I have no, oh, Mr. just bought, brought us a plate of fresh cucumber and zucchini slices from the garden okay yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause and unpause it what a mess they are yeah it could be my button is sticking let me see if i'm gonna play with this just for a second we are not playing bingo yet we are not playing bingo yet how do i undo this oh right there <laughs> oh, Morgan had four out of five numbers already. Yeah, they're like color forms for fingernails. <laughs> they're really cute. Oh, you won the one from Darla. Nice. Okay, let me, I'm going to play with this a little bit. Okay, let's just, let's just see how. There's a, nope, it's, look at that. I'm not even touching it. And it just threw four numbers up. You guys can't see because I didn't reset the little thingy bobber. Okay, let me reset the little, oh. Oh, we got to redo the whole thing. Share, share screen, share screen. This thingy, that thingy, share screen. Look at that. I pushed it one time and it popped up four numbers. 
Okay, so let's try the autoplay. Reset the board, confirm. Let's try one other little thing. Nope, that's not working. Oh, check this out. Give it a second. Give it a second. Start new game. Boom. Eight numbers it threw up there. Yeah, Dana won. <laughs> Dana won. Okay. Let's try this again. Reset the board. Confirm. Okay. Autoplay. Oh, eight numbers. <laughs> this is not going well. Yeah, speed bingo. <laughs> speed bingo. I don't know of another bingo board. Let me try. Let me try doing this. All right, folks. Talks amongst yourselves. Um, whoa, what did I do? What did I do? Okay. Everybody tell me. In the comments, I want everybody to tell me what's your next problem. <laughs> yeah, Dana, did you slip the board of Mickey? You know, I've been fucking with Bingo for how long? And I honestly still don't know what a Mickey is. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, yes, slip Mickey. Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> the bartender would sit and scrape the fingernails on top of blood. No. That is not correct. <laughs> has a chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. This is used to And the bartender's name was Mickey. Mm. No, that is not correct at all. I will explain to you later. Because we researched this a few weeks ago. <laughs> Didn't we, Dana? We researched this. Now that it's it's, 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 it's basically just um, drugging a drink to make somebody pass out. Ah, uh, yeah. gotcha. And it is from back in the old days. Interesting. Okay, peeps. Wow, you got 38 numbers up there now. Okay, this is what I can do. That's not going to work. I can do it on my phone. And tell you the numbers just like we used to do before we figured out how to do this. Let me see if I can bring it up on my tablet. Because that used to work pretty good. Because I really can't see it on my phone. Start new game. Okay, it seems to be working. It's working on my tablet. So that's what we're going to have to do. And for next week, I'll turn my computer all the way off. Let it, you know, completely shut it down and let it reset its little brain. Good night, Saf. I have no idea why it's doing this. 
Yes, yeah, Saf, I didn't even know you were in here. Why was I thinking of you? You said something in one of the comments. Oh, I know what it was. You, um, you, uh, 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 what is the word I want to say? You tagged me in one of your videos and I am going to do that. I just, you know, with traveling last week and everything, I haven't got to it yet. Um, hey, has anybody been tagged in the, the family feud, the crochet family feud thing? I want to do that. Somebody tag me, please. I want to do that one. So, um, yes, Saf, I still plan on doing your thing. And I should get, this week I should get caught up on my videos. Okay, so here we go. Reset board, confirm. And those of you that have been here from the beginning, this is how we did it when we started before I could figure out how to, how to show it on the screen. So we played it like this for, for several weeks and it works just fine. The only thing is, we do have to stop and do some. Um, we do have to stop and do some number readbacks because I know you guys can't see the um, things. Thank you, Verna. We're super excited about that. All right, here we go. We're gonna start now. This is blackout bingo, so you have to have all nine of your numbers. Okay, ready, set, go. New game. Number 34, 3, 4, 34. <laughs> oh, so you're coming in, Saf. You're not leaving us. Is that correct? You're just getting here? So we are just now starting game three. We are just now starting blackout. And you're going to have to wait for the um, read blacks if you can't keep track of the numbers because that's just what we have to do this time. Say good night as greeting at night. Okay, so Saf, you're just getting here. Good, good. Okay. So the first number is 34. The next number is 46, 4, 6, number 46. Darn, King Gorilla story. All right, the next number is 38, 38, 38. So every little bit, we'll do a number read back. I have no idea what happened here. Technology, you know. Sixty seven, six seven, sixty seven. So, what new projects are you guys going to work on? I just pulled yarn for two new projects. Who's emailing who? What am I missing out on? Uh, no, Dana, you don't get to complain about the numbers after everything we've gone through. <laughs> no complaining about numbers. We reset it multiple times for you, Dana. Seventy-one, seven one. Oh, you just finished crocheting a hat. I have to find a hat pattern. I need to make a. I need to make a hat. You got three whips in the works. That doesn't count. Oh, yarn bar for one year giveaway. Nice. I must not have. I thought I watched all your videos. Um, 
Oh, Bonnie. Okay, let me tell you the story about that. So you guys know that Stephen West, or maybe you don't know, Stephen West is going to start a mystery knit along. And I guess it's a big deal. And there's like thousands of people that join into this thing. And you buy the, you buy the pattern on Ravelry. And he's already put out a whole bunch of information about beautiful, beautiful color combinations. Number 28. Two, eight. Number 28. Oh, nice. You're just quite the winner, Yarn Barf. Egg aprons. I guess I don't know what that is. And so this beautiful crochet or knit along that he is starting and you've got like a month to get your yarn together. And yeah, this is number 13. I think he said, Bonnie, is that right? So, um, I dug through my yarn stash and I picked out the yarn and got all very excited about it. And then I checked the dates. Number 26, two, six, number 26. The dates are the exact time that I'm traveling in October. And I know at least two of the weeks, I won't have internet access. So, oh, it's an egg apron for the chickens. Oh, I'll have to check into that. The 60 number is 67, 67, 67. I know, but here's the problem, Bonnie. I'm a brand new knitter. And his stuff can be pretty complicated. Right, Yarn Barf? No internet for two weeks. Um, well, at least two Oh, okay. Okay. 41, number four, one. So he pulls, he drops the information on Thursdays. Isn't that right, Bonnie? Jennifer stitches by stitchual bag. So is it knit and crochet combined? Saf, I have missed that. I have not caught up on cinnamon stitches. I am behind. I know yarn barf. It's a problem. Um, it's because of the cruise ship. You can pay for internet, but it's bloody expensive and it's still not very good. And I know from when we went to Alaska last time during the let's get sick on a cruise trip that the internet was terrible in um, Alaska. I tried to download a video and it was a one minute video and it took like two hours to upload so that I could post it for you guys. And so, um, yeah, I just know I'm not going to be able to access it. Um, yeah, he's in Amsterdam. I know knitting turnpike. And I talked to her and she said, she thinks I can do it. She knows my skill level and she thinks I can do it. She thinks I can catch up it's it's not a cal laura it's a it's a cal it's a k-a-l it's a knit along um i can download stuff a, ahead of time but he drops them during the time frame that i'm gone and i also knit really slow so i i know i couldn't keep up anyway okay let's do a read back of the numbers 26 28, 34, 38, 41, 67, 71. Oh, I know, Melanie. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've got my yarn pulled. It's sitting right there. Maybe Miss Morgan will pick the box up and bring it over to me. And then I'll show you what I pulled for. Tell me what you guys think about the yarn I picked. Number nine, number nine, his combinations are just stunning. Are you guys buying a kit or are you 
pulling out of your stash. Not one number, Brie. An egg apron cow. Is that, so is it, is it a crocheted egg apron? Okay, these are the ones I'm not using. His name is Stephen West. S-T-E-P-H-E-N. No, no, Saf. We're working on the same, um, same numbers that we've had. Flip-flop, it is 46 and 41, both of them. 46 and 41. Okay, so this is one of the colors. I don't know what it looks like on there. It's sort of a, I would call this a celery green. I don't know what color it's looking like on there. But I would call that a celery green. Let me see what it looks like here. Make sure my sound is down. So that's one of my colors. So pretty. Does it look yellow? Yeah, it's definitely got green in it. It's a very pale green. Yeah, it doesn't. That's not a very good representation of the color. It's called linen spray. So the last number called was number nine. 5353. Three. Crocheted apron that has crocheted pockets to put your eggs in. I like that idea, Yarn Barf. So you're saying that Cinnamon Stitches has one? Is that correct? Yeah, definitely this is a color I would call celery. Oh, you've got chicks and no eggs, huh? Five, three. And then this one is called Fairy Crossing, and it's a very deep blue. Um, it's deeper than a royal blue. It's really got a pretty sheen to it, though. So then these two together. So definitely there's a contrast there. So, found the pattern on YouTube. Okay. Yarn Barf had eggs a couple of days ago. So, you, this, when I'm thinking an apron, this is something you're wearing, right? Or do you put it inside of a basket? It goes around your waist. It goes around your waist. She looked it up. Why does your mother have an egg apron? Okay. <laughs> no, she bought one from somebody. All right. So apparently, Morgan's mother has one. <laughs> and she's explaining it to me. She makes it. Okay. It looks like the egg apron is going to have to go on our list of things to make. I've never heard of such a thing. Okay. Number five, seven. 57, Tiffany Hansen's egg apron. So then my third pop of color is this. One of my Hobby Lobby clearance yarns that I paid $3.75 for. Isn't that pretty? And see, it's just got a touch of the green. Where's the green? Down here. A touch of the green and the blues. So here's the color, all three of the colors together. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. There. What do you think? Would that work for the shawl? I think it's gorgeous. Yep. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So see, I was just all convinced that I didn't need to do it. Now you guys are convincing me that I can do it. Somebody was leaving or doing something. Let me... I saw a long one 
Got to go make dinner. One more plug for anyone who may know who I promised scrunchies to. It was during a live sometime last week. Me. It, well, I, I, I apologize, Darcy. I don't know anybody who talked about that. All right. So we definitely need an egg apron. Too many eggs. You're giving them away. Funny. Okay. Number 17, one, seven, 17. We'll call a couple more numbers, then we'll do a read back. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. So has, has anybody in here done one of those Stephen West before? Um, I, I see the one. Anybody else? 17. 399. I don't know. I I don't know how much eggs were last time I bought them. We bought them a few weeks ago. And I think I bought one of those five dozen things at Costco. So I couldn't even tell you how much it was. But I know we and they taste so much better when they're fresh eggs like that. Fresh eggs are selling for eight dollars a dozen. Yeah, eight dollars a dozen is what people um are selling the fresh eggs for around here. You go to the little farm stands and stuff. Number 40, four zero, number 40. So my biggest concern about that knit along, $3 for fresh eggs? Why am? That's pretty amazing. Yeah, the Stephen West, it's his, his patterns are, they can be a little wild. They can definitely be a little wild. 24, 2, 4, 24. Yep, Gary, I can totally see him where that is completely his style with the beautiful color combinations and the little bit of wild design. I can totally see Gary pulling that off. And see that what those wilder colors are hard. For, even this green is hard for me to think about this green, but I think mixed in with the blues, it'll be okay. Yeah, Laura. That's why we're building a chicken coop. Yeah, I know she's going to do it. I know she is. She keeps telling me, Gina of Knitting Turnpike keeps telling me I can do it. 29, 2, 9. So I know the day they're going to drop it, the first one, we are in, not Anchorage, Juno? I think it's Juno. Eight dollars a dozen. That's what the fresh farms are selling them for around here. Number two nine. Yarn Barf just gave away seven chicks two weeks ago. We're gonna have to. Um... Oh, so do you knit also peppermint? Two, nine. Number 10, one, zero. Uh, oh, hi, Bridget. Just got back from picking up a new, oh, a treadle sewing machine. Does it work? That's interesting. And it's new? New to her. New to me, extremely old treadle sewing machine. I have one of those sitting right here. It was my great great my mother's great aunt verna it belonged to her we use it as an end table number 10 okay let's do a read back of the numbers so a few people have just popped in and the bingo game was um spewing numbers we would pick it we would pick a number 
and it would show up three, four, five, eight numbers at a time. So we're back to the old fashioned way where I've got the bingo game set up on my tablet and we're calling numbers that way. And so now I'm going to do a recap of the numbers. Here we go. We have called a total of 16 numbers so far. We are playing blackout bingo, so you need to match all nine of your numbers. Here's the playback. Number nine, 10, 17, 24, 26, 28, 29, 34, 38, I lost my place. There we are. 38, 40, 41, 46, 53, 57, 67, and 71. So anybody got numbers? How are you guys doing with your numbers, with your matches? We've called 16 numbers so far. Okay, the next number is 27, 2, 7, 27. Yarnbarf's got one, nice. Dana's got four? How did that happen? I see three, three, zero, four, two, one, two, one, two, one. Lots of twos, lots of ones. Dana just snuck up in there with four. Verna, I need to write your name down, Verna, so I remember to. Guess who my guess who my guest is tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, eight o'clock Pacific. Our guest on our interview show. Check this out. Yeah. Jean from On the Hook Crochet. I'm so excited. Please, please, please pop in and listen to that. Yeah, the coffee, the board does not need coffee. We already went through that. So peppermint, you knit. Is that what you're telling me? All right, Karen's got one. Number 60, six zero. I know, Brenda. I'm so excited for this tomorrow. <laughs> We're gonna let let uh Dana win so she'll quit giving everybody Mickeys. Oh, she does look like Betty White, doesn't she? She is so smart. I'm it just amazes me. She whips those patterns out one after another, week after week. I'm trying to sit this down so I don't know, Verna. We're excited. <laughs> Dana's making hot chocolate. Dana, you realize it's 100 degrees out, right? Hot chocolate may not be the best choice for everyone. I'm trying to set this piece of paper down so I don't lose it. Put all my yarn back in there. So now you guys have convinced me that I can do this. And I'll just be way, 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 way behind. And I'll be asking you guys for help. All right. Number three. Number three. I know. The funny thing, it was a couple of weeks ago, Yarn Barf. The funny thing was when I contacted her, she had never been invited to do a live before. And then after I contacted her, Linda got a hold of her. And so she did her first live with Linda, but I had her scheduled a few weeks down the road. Um, but I listened to that interview. It was very good. I think I've got some different questions in mind for her. So I'm hoping people will enjoy my interview tomorrow as much as they did with Linda. Um, Brenda, she had a very, very unusual 
line, she did all kinds of things. Um, I was surprised at how many different occupations she has had. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. It is 8 o'clock Pacific, so that's 10 Central, 11 Eastern. Number 14, one four. Number 14. One four. I'm booked out so far that when I invite my guests, sometimes it's six or eight weeks, but I don't want to run into, you know, last minute. Because sometimes when I contact people, it's two or three weeks before we make connection and then we get a date that works for everybody. So um, who's taking a YouTube break? Glenn. Jeannie is or old oh, Linda AM. It's in the morning, Peppermint. My interviews are typically in the morning, although I know now and again, I, uh, in fact, in the next few weeks, I've got some that are going to be more midday. Oh, she is. I haven't seen today's video yet. I wonder why. Well, maybe she'll tell us all about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it tomorrow in the interview. I'll have to go watch your video tonight when we're done. I know she's got a sale on her bags. I did see that. 8, 8 o'clock a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, yes, Gina it took September off. She's taking a break. It's a lot of work. Just, I mean, it is a lot of work. Number 36, 36. What was, um, Dina, what was on your feed after her video? Who are we talking about? I'm getting confused. Bridget, are you in Pacific time zone? I don't remember. Number 36. So, yeah, Deanne, tell me uh, um, who it was. Who it was is taking a break. 32, number 32. Oh, okay. So you are, um, you're Eastern. So that's not so bad for you. That's 11 o'clock. I think she's Eastern also. On the hook, posted she's taking a break. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have to talk. I hope everything's okay. But I'm going to, um, I'll look at today's video. Because she did tell me she was going to mention in her video that she was going to be on here tomorrow. But she didn't mention that she's going to be taking a break. But she is so prolific and she does so much. And then all the work with... Um, all the work that she does with all of her um, her patterns and and it's just it's a lot of work, you guys. You you have if you don't have a channel, you have no idea how much work is involved for the kind of stuff that she's doing. Oh, she did mention it. Oh, I'm glad. Number seventy two seven two. No place to do an interview. The heat, yeah. It's, it's, she's in Texas. Okay. Oh. Oh, I hope that doesn't mess things up. 72. And the number before that was 32. Because she told me today that she was in the Eastern time zone. Hmm. Well, worst case. We'll be a little late. 72. How's our numbers, Dina? Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo from somebody who snuck right in there and didn't say a word about it. 
Nightbot wants to know if you won. Ready? All right, I'm ready. Let's hear a playback. Uh, right? Mm-hmm. One? No. 16? Well, if... Hey, Al, um, Al, we're playing Blackout. You got to have all nine numbers. All nine numbers. Sorry, no bingo, bingo. Yes, I'm checking, and the very first number doesn't match. You've got a number one, and we have not called number one. Okay, so let's do a let's do a read back of numbers. This is a good time for a read back. We're still playing. That was a that was a practice bingo. Yes, Tennessee, not Texas. Correct. Okay, so here's a read back of numbers. We've had twenty three numbers called. Number three, nine, ten, fourteen. No problem. No problem, Mel. 17, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 41, 46, 53, 57, 60, 67, 71, and 72. It's no problem. It's always good to, to get a read back. Okay. 72 is the last number. Here's the next one. 65. 65. Oh, seriously, yarn bars? How can that even be? How is that even possible? Dana, you still just have four? Forty-seven. Four, seven. Wrapped in yarn has four. Does anybody else have four or more? Forty-seven. Dana's got five. You do not win. Dana has five. You're getting close, though. Vicky has four. Nice. Ooh, Deanne's got six. Bonnie's got five. All right, all right. Here we go. Number fifty-nine. Five, nine. Okay, you're on barf. We'll still be here. Five, nine. So I was just making the list of things I need to have created and finished for Christmas items. I'm only making three things. And I'm forcing myself to make small things. So I'm going to do a hat, and I think I want it to be a knit hat, but maybe not. And I'm going to do a mosaic placemat. Like, it's more of a table mat thing. And I'm going to do a mosaic pillow, pillow cover. So small enough things. I think in the time frame we've got between now and Christmas, I should no problem getting that, that amount of stuff done. Of course, I haven't started any of them yet. Number 62. 62. Thank you, yarns. Yarn, yarning for a smile. Took me a second. Yarning for a smile. So three. Cotton ripple. Oh, that'll be pretty. A cat and a and dog themed stockings. I say every year I'm gonna make stockings and every year I don't do it. Oh, you've got seven? Diane has seven. Diane Dorrance has seven. TV table, yeah, that's about the size. Saw a kit. 
So does anybody else have Christmas presents that you've committed to either out loud or just in your brain that you have not started yet? Number 61, 6, 1. Sixty-one. Sonia does. Always, yeah. That's the truth. So tomorrow we've got Jean. And look who we have the week after. Yeah. Told you we got some great people coming up. Number 66. 66. Six, number 66. Temperature blanket. Oh. Is it? See now, Sally, I would never think to do a temperature blanket for a Christmas present. Hirschner's, yeah. Oh, I know. Dragon Amigurumi. Oh, man. That sounds hard. I, I, the Amigurumi just befuddles me. It truly does. It's 19, number one, nine, 19. I should, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I'm smart enough to do this. Let's see. Get out of here. Go there. Open this. What do I want to do? Nope, that's not what I want to do. See, I told you. Go back here. Go here. Type in yard stream. T-R. Pop in here. Do, 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 do. Three to go. Nice, nice. So my guest after Jean is Jeannie from Butterfly Dreams Crochet. Do this. Copy that. Go there. And go here. And pop in to Miss Dana. Wow, Dana, that's beautiful. Okay, Dana, I just sent you the invite. Come on up. Let's talk about your crochet along. You're getting ready to start. I just put her on the spot. She's probably sitting there in her jammies. Nazareth, why aren't you playing? I haven't heard from you in ages. We need to have a conversation. All right, number 12. Number 12. If Dana hasn't fallen asleep, because you know we've had that happen before, haven't we? We'll get her up here to talk a minute about her crochet along. Nazar, you should be playing Halloween and fall. See, the, I can't get anything done that quick. Have, can't get anything done that quick. I just, and I know I have at least a million, just a million um, projects in my head that I want to do. What, Morgan, every day, how many new projects do I show you? Every day. Maybe one, two. Maybe three. Yeah. And then that's. If it's an actually started project or a. Oh my God, look at this. Yes, it's just an oh my God, look at this. We need to make this multiple every day. It is so fun. I can't tell you guys how much fun it is to have another crocheter in the house. It is so fun. Number 25, 2, 5, 25. 2, 5. Yeah, it's, it's a joy. And 
And she likes things that don't appeal to me. So as I run across stuff, I'm like, oh, look at this. You would love this. And she, she's branching me out in colors. So it's, it's a lot of fun. 25. Number seven. Number seven. How's that baby doing, Nazareth? Yes. Yes, you are exactly right. The mentality of, oh, look at this. I need to make this. And then I see all the pretty new yarn. Oh, my gosh. Um, it's not basic stitch. It is. It's basics. Basics has some colors out that are, they're called mosaics. I think that's what they're called. And they're just beautiful. And they've got them on sale at Hershner's right now. And I keep looking at them and I keep going, no, no. Unless I've got a project specifically. So, so far I've held off. Yeah, no desire. Let you in. You're not on my thingy. Dana, you're not in the green room. Did I send you the right one? Did I send you the right link? Let me try again. The mosaics are so beautiful. We just did a mosaics class on here last week. Um, there's two, two classes. And we did a live mosaics class so that we could learn how to do mosaics. And let me do it again. Let me make sure I've got to the right one. So it's, yep, live. Invite a guest. Copy to clipboard. Send it to Miss Dana. I'm sending it to you again, Dana, just in case I sent you the wrong one. Paste. Okay, try that. I sent you a new link because, you know, who knows if I sent the right one before. You bought her furls on Friday. Yes. Okay. Just so you know, and you guys know I'm, I'm a furls girl all the way. But just so you know, if you buy a furls from anybody other than directly from furls, they do not honor the warranty. Okay. <laughs> So, no warranty if... Hey, Dana! Hi! No... <laughs> yes, yeah. I am in my pajamas. <laughs> awesome. We love it. We Look love it. Let's, let's Look get another me. number up here. Hey, Hey, Number 48. Number 48. Okay, we've got 44 numbers called. So, Miss Dana has joined us. Hi. Hi. Hey, Sue. Hey, Mama Sue. Okay, so Miss Dana has a crochet along. It's going to be starting up here in a few weeks. Oh, look at that pretty thing. Is that a clue? That's a clue. <laughs> That's it. Yep. So, tell us about your crochet along. Okay, so I got an idea after doing Nan's Next Knots to put a twist on it. And I contacted Nancy and got her blessing. I'm not stomping on anybody. And I contacted our beautiful yarn hag Ryan because it's her stitch, the hag stitch. And I have come up with a crochet along where we spin the Christmas wheel and we do random row heights. Our rows of color are all different heights. And each week, you know, we're spinning the wheel. We are using a base color in between. My base color is this blue. And then we got the variegated and all of these colors. So yes. So those videos, um, the intro video that explains, you know, the yarn and explains more about, you know, how many, you know, colors you need. You are going to need six different 
colors plus your base color. And um, that video goes up on September 12th, but the first Christmas wheel spin is on September 19th. Perfect. September 19th. Let's do a number. 64. 64. Oh. Robin, come on. <laughs> 64. Have you called 20? We have not called 20. Have you called 49? We have not called 49. Well, well why not? Because. <laughs> so yeah. um, what, what weight yarn do I need for this hag stitch blanket? If you want to just follow along the way I'm doing it, a four weight. A four weight acrylic, an H hook, and you're good. Um, if after you, you know, if, if you have experience with Nan's Next Knots and her luck of the draw, you can do something different. You know, it's your creativity, as Mikey, Mikey always says. So you can do whatever you want. The way I'm presenting it is a four weight H hook. It's a 36 by 48 inch blanket. And it'll be ready in it'll be ready in time for Christmas. Oh, you can make it yay. bigger, make it smaller, do your own thing. But um, that blanket is not a dog pillow, mister. It is <laughs> yes, not it is. a dog pillow. Everything in here is a dog pillow. <laughs> Everything. He likes okay. it. 37. Okay. 37. Oh. I tell you, you're really bad at this. I know. I know. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Lefty, we're on game three and we're having technical difficulties. So we are calling the numbers by hand tonight. <laughs> calling the numbers by hand. Dana so has jinxed us. I know. I know. It's my fault. That was so, bizarre. I'm I, you know, we have discussed me um sponsoring the prizes one, one night and you know me i'm all about the amway cleaning products and we were discussing cleaning products mm -hmm. for that night so i've got those products in my head and i'm thinking the first ish of december oh okay okay yeah sounds good to me first dish of december we're gonna first have dish. another we're gonna <laughs> gonna have a sponsor that's perfect that's just in time for our christmas clean-a-thon clean we, all, we yes. all go through <laughs> why are my glasses so crooked <laughs> my, maybe it's my head not my maybe. glasses okay right. are you ready are you ready it's gonna be my numbers okay peppermint wants to read back first okay okay are you ready? Here's the read. Okay, Lefty, pay attention. This is where you catch up. Number three, seven, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-two. 34, 36, 37, 38, 40, 41, 46, 47, 48, 53, 57, 59, 60, 61, 62, 64, 65, 66, 67, 71, and 72. Okay, everybody, I win. everybody caught up? I win. You do not win. <laughs> <laughs> the next number, the next number called is 49. Yeah! <laughs> I tell you, I'm going to win. 49. I am three numbers away. 
You're on guard. How can you not have a single number out of 37 numbers? Okay. Well, thank you for letting me show off my blanket and talk about my first, my first crochet along. I'm going to get back in the chat because I'm going to win. We want to watch you win. <laughs> You're stuck with me now. Thank you, Robin. Thank you for letting me talk about that. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm getting in there and I'm going to win. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number 50, five, zero, 50. That's going to be a fun crochet along. I like I. I like the mystery things to a point. The problem I have with mystery things is I'm kind of picky about what I like and what I don't like. At least with something like this, I get to pick my own colors and I know they all go together. And so it doesn't matter which, which color gets pulled. I'm happy with it. <laughs> yeah, yarn barf. Christmas colors. So Dina, uh, Christmas colors are perfect, but you don't have to go with Christmas colors. I did not. I picked, my colors are, um, I guess you'd say primary colors because I'm making them for a grandson. And so I've got yellow and green and purple and blue, probably two colors of blue. I don't know. Um, Angela, yes, 71. 71 has been called. So it doesn't have to be Christmas colors. Any color, any group of colors that you want. And I have already forgotten, Dana. Tell me how many colors that I need. Hi, Crochet and Knitting Addiction. So other than my base color, how many other colors do I need, Dana? Five zero was the last number called. Hmm. I, okay, I want Dana six plus the base. Okay, I wanted you to be clear just in case you have to type bingo, Dana. Here's the next number, 22, two, two, 22. Um, Dana, I think it's one of those things where because it may not, every color may not be called. Um, so you're going to need a little bit more of your main color and then at least one of the regular size, uh, skeins of each of your other colors. So she'll go over all of that early. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. One skein each. Um, and she'll go over that early in, in that first video. My skeins are itty bitty. So I actually need a couple of them. 22. Number 39, 3, 9, 39. Number 39. Oh, we have a winner. KD. KD. First video, September 12th. All right, let's check Katie's numbers. Just a second. All right, ready? ready for a read back. Uh, three, three seven, 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 24, 24, 24 32, 32, 39, 39, 41, 41 57, 57, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, Woohoo! Even with our jinxed bingo game tonight. Oh my gosh, what a mess. What a mess. Dana, you didn't win. How many skeins of the base color? What do you think, Dana? How many skeins of the base color do we need for your for your crochet along? Congratulations! KD, KD, KD. Oh, now you got to get ready for work. Okay, so let's see what you won, KD. 
this beautiful, it's called Parfait, and it's from Premier Yarns, machine washable, 100% polyester, um, 100 grams, just shy of 200, 192 yards. This is a beautiful, I'd call it a butter yellow, and it's like a chenille. It is so, so soft. Chenille or velvet, what do they call it? Made in Turkey, yay. I thought I saw, no, it's just called Parfait. Anyway, you get two of those, two of that beautiful, beautiful, mmm, it's so soft, so, so full. Oh, yay. Yeah, this is so soft. This will be beautiful. Good. I'm glad you like that, Katie. So let me put the thing up, the banner with the address to email me. And in the subject line, put bingo winner and today's date. Bingo winner and today's date. And then inside your comment, make sure you mention that you won game three. Okay. And it, KD, if it comes across, if it's going to be a different name on your email when it comes across, make sure you say in the email what your name on here is so I know who it is. Okay. And this week will be pretty good. I should be able to get all of the, um, I should be able to get all of the prizes sent out this week. Not like last week. Not like last week. So thank you guys ever so much for putting up with all the nonsense tonight. And I really, really, really hope that you will uh, come on tomorrow at, I think it's 8 o'clock. Now I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. She told me she's Eastern. Tennessee would be Eastern. Um, so tomorrow, Jeannie from On the Hook Crochet. And let's visit with her and see what's going on in her world. And I'm so excited. I have been so blessed to be able to get some of the most wonderful guests on here. So good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for coming in uh, and putting up with all the shenanigans tonight. We will see you tomorrow and we'll see you next Monday for bingo, bingo, bingo. Verna, I can't wait to go look at your video. Thank you for, thank you for tagging me. <laughs> Me and Miss Morgan are going to be doing a video together. We'll talk to you later. Sally, good night. Good night, Jennifer. Nazareth, email me, please. Just to visit. Just to visit. We'll talk to you all later. Good night.